How dangerous are Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, Standra for your heart? This group of drugs is also known by the name of PDA5 inhibitors and I get this question all the time from my patients. Hardly any drug has been mystified to such a high degree. Unfortunately, much of what is known in the general public about its effects and side effects is false. One hard to die myth is that Viagra and Cialis are bad for the heart and for the blood pressure and that heart patients cannot take these tablets. This is not correct. Viagra was originally developed as a circulatory drug. It was intended as a medication for angina. Nitroglycerin is commonly used for this purpose. Nitrates dilate blood vessels, which lowers the blood pressure. Problem is, however, the body gets used to the medication. As a result, the body becomes accustomed to the medication over time, requiring higher doses to achieve the same effect. So research was looking for a substance with similar effects and less habituation. Soon they identified a special enzyme that they tried to block for this purpose. The name of the enzyme? Phosphodiesterase 5. The name of the drug? Sildenafil. Phosphodiesterase 5 is found throughout the body, including the penis, because the erectile tissue is composed of smooth muscle cells like those found in vessel walls. Well, the drug was a flop in terms of angina, but it turned out to have a sensational side effect as it displayed a strong effect on erectile ability. Of course, a drug like this was the pharmacological jackpot, so they switched from heart to penis and the rest is history. However, concerning blood pressure, PDA5 inhibitors have a niche. Tadalafil is approved as a drug for pulmonary hypertension. So it widens arteries and as you might remember, so do nitrates. If you combine nitrates with PDA5 inhibitors, there is a chance that they will add up and that the blood pressure will drop down to zero. It goes without saying that this is a life-threatening situation. Especially in the early years, deaths resulted from this combination and made the headlines. This is what people remember until today, so that it has become part of the collective consciousness that these drugs are harmful to the heart. If PDA5 inhibitors are not combined with nitrates or non-selective alpha blockers, they have a high safety profile with respect to the heart. After all, Viagra has now been around since 1998. If we just go into detail, as I already mentioned, PDA5 inhibitors are approved for pulmonary hypertension due to left heart disease. They improve contractile function, reduce chamber dilatation and reduce the pressure on the left ventricle of the heart. This is what we call a remodeling effect with improved parameters of cardiac action over time due to these drugs. PDA5 inhibitors not only improve the systolic part of the heartbeat, but also the diastolic. They reduce inflammation and inflammatory changes of the tissues of the heart, and they also improve coronary microcirculation. While PDA5 inhibitors currently are not recommended in the months following a heart attack, they are currently under investigation concerning just this because there is more and more evidence emerging that the remodeling effect can also be seen when used in myocardial infarction. This class of drugs can reduce infarct size, increase perfusion, improve heart contractility, and most importantly, increase the chances of survival after a heart attack. There are several other effects, but I think it would be too complicated to go into detail here. Apart from the heart, PDA5 inhibitors are also approved in benign prostatic enlargement because they facilitate urination and reduce episodes of urinary urgency very effectively. As you can see, PDA5 inhibitors display efficacy way beyond erection and sex. They are the Swiss army knife of drugs with a high safety profile. Just remember not to combine them with nitrates. Finally, please keep in mind that this is a video and not a medical consultation or medical advice. Talk to your doctor before you start on these pills and if you are in doubt, consult a cardiologist. I hope that I could ease your concerns a little regarding this group of substances. 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.